what's going on guys it's uh march the 11th 2020 um i'm back out here to dump for a little while got up went listen for turkeys this morning and uh run up to my wife's beauty shop was gonna we'd eat some tall spots in the spring grass that were going around there and uh had it cranked i was weed eating and uh one of my buddies stopped by to talk so i cut it off then i went to get back after it and uh pulled a string and it broke so uh took it to the parts house to get that replaced and since i was up here and everybody's still in the bed i figured i would uh, come digging for just a little while so anyway we popped the first good one out for the day i don't know if you can see that right there that is a little blue vial of some sort and i've never found anything like that it's got a cap on it you can see i'm screwing it off I'm kind of curious to know what was in that but anyway we're gonna keep that so uh probably not gonna be here real long so um i probably won't get that many clips uh whenever i'm able to come back after today we'll probably combine those into one video so uh y'all just stay tuned with us guys there's a broken new grape <clears throat> part of it it's from morgan city louisiana and if you look at the bottom it's got a patent date of march 9th 1920 and that's actually i wish that had been whole because that's my oldest one's birthday but anyway i was laying right there on top it's broke so uh you don't never know we might pop out a hole in a minute see so y'all stay tuned guys there's a coke just raked it and the crown top sticking out let's pull it and see if it's whole ah it's broke that's gonna be a pat d though don't know what town it was from but anyway y'all stay tuned Guys, I think this one's whole. It's from Philadelphia. I don't have this one. Let's pull it and see. Boom! No chips, no cracks. And that is, that's a Pat D. That's going to be a 40s Coke bottle from Philadelphia. We'll take that, though. I don't have that one. Good one to find. All right, guys. I found a little bit in a short period of time. I found a one, two, three, four, five blue bottles. That little bitty blue vi uh, vial, which is pretty cool. And then I found that Philadelphia Mississippi Coke bottle right there, that Pat D, which I don't have that one. So anyway, we didn't have long to dig. Gonna go get some crickets and uh, me and the boys are gonna go fishing. So anyway, uh, y'all just stay tuned. I'm gonna, whenever I come back, I'll just add those clips to this one and uh, we'll make a bigger video. So y'all stay tuned. Hey guys, it's uh, Friday, March the 13th, 2020. Get some tires on my truck and uh, getting oil changed. So I got somebody to drop me off out here to dump, and I'm gonna dig a little while while uh, they're doing that. But anyway, I uh, man, I've been raking probably about 20 minutes. Whew. Hadn't found nothing yet, but um, just found something pretty exciting. You see that? I just popped that. Uh, that's a blue mason jar, and I hadn't picked it up, so it could be broke. So let's see what we got. And man, it has no chips or anything on it. And this is going to be, uh, it's going to be just like the ones we found a few videos ago. That's going to be a 1923 to 1933 Ball Perfect Mason. I don't see any cracks, and it is number two. So that's a good one to find, man. Glad, well, glad I popped that out. But uh, anyway, y'all stay tuned with us. I got a little while to dig, and hopefully we'll find something else. Guys, I think I've just found a day maker, and I can't read it. That's going to be an old soda, though. I'm not real sure what it is. I can see right there it says uh, something Biling Company and something Mississippi right there. Let's pull it and see if it's whole. Oh, my God, and it is. Oh, Lord, let's see what that says. That says Starkville. Let me wipe it off. That says Starkville Biling Company, Starkville, Mississippi. It's got nice Art Deco stuff going all the way up the bottle i'm not really i've never heard of that i guess that was local i can't find any insignia on it or anything but gosh that's a good one to find lord of mercy i tell you what let me let me cut this camera off and let me clean it up a little bit more and come back to you so we can look at it guys there it is and you can see it right there startwell biling company and right there startwell mississippi up under it and this has got to be at least a 1920s bottle and i didn't even check the seam line seam line goes all the way up to the top 
that's got to be from the 20s or 30s though and like i said i have never heard of this want to do some uh some research and see if i can figure it out but um i got a couple people i can call and do and of course get on the internet and look but uh gosh that's a good one man that's a day maker look at that design on that thing it's got a nice little rim going around it and right there at the bottom and it's kind of textured right here in the middle and looks like kind of when you know oval shaped uh mirrors you have in your house but lord and mercy i'm glad i glad i decided to come over here and write gosh that's a good one all right it does have one little bruise right there you really can't tell it but um y'all stay with us and uh let's see if we can find something else guys it's turned out to be a great day guys i just migrated to another little spot and look i've already pulled this one and it's got some damage but this is pretty cool now you've seen the debossed dr peppers that i've dug before this is actually an embossed one and look at that name columbus mississippi man i wish it would have been in perfect condition but it's not <clears throat> and that one you can see it's pretty cool it says dr pepper on the bottom and that's a night if you see that zero to the right of that little saturn looking thing which is the owens illinois glass company symbol that's a 1930 bottle i'm probably gonna take this with me just because it doesn't look broke right there and i've never found anything like that so and this has been a good day for finding the soda bottles but anyway i still got a little time gonna do some more raking and uh and i'm just gonna tell you you, you don't see all of it but um I'm, I'm putting the work in for them i can promise you so anyway just stay tuned Guys, I don't find many of these while I'm digging. That's dirty. It kind of blends in with the ground. That's a conch shell. I just popped out of the ground. Anyway, probably not going to take that with us. Just want to show it to you. Guys, I ain't got a clue what this is, but I just popped it out of the ground. It looks like a miniature moonshine jug. Pop that top off right there. Looks like it was some kind of maybe aftershave lotion or something like that, but regardless... I don't know how old it is, but that is a pretty dang cool find right there. Just old miniature, uh, miniature jug looks like. But anyway, that's a good find. Y'all stay tuned. Guys, that's all I'm going to have time for today. And uh, man, I had a good haul. Just do a little recap. Found that nice blue mason jar. It's a number two, 1923 to 1933. I found one, two, three, four, five blue bottles. Those four right there embossed. We found the nice little whiskey jug, I think is an aftershave. And then the two finds of the day, and even though it's chipped right there, that embossed Columbus, Mississippi, Dr. Pepper, and then this baby right here. And I'm gonna tell you, I show it again. It says Starville Bottling Company, Starville, Mississippi, Art Deco. And I gotta find out about that, but I, th I think that's gonna be a pretty rare bottle. But anyway, man, we appreciate y'all uh, join us today and uh, i'm gonna get this video together and get it posted on the day of turkey seasons tomorrow so hopefully i will have a good hunt filmed and be able to show you if everything goes right but anyway uh just go like our videos we appreciate you watching and subscribe to the jones boys